Hearts is my favorite game. This is more than a game for Tony Sanchez. But I'll play this game all day long if, I, <laughs> if the wife let, would let me. He suffers from memory loss after being diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease. I don't remember things. I don't know what this is. I don't know what that is, what I'm supposed to. Uh, that's what makes it hard. Every day, his symptoms vary. Sometimes I can smell things, sometimes I can't. Loss of taste and smell, brain fog, dizziness, all things COVID-19 patients experience too. And it's not a coincidence. The big thing is when I got the COVID. When Tony contracted COVID-19 last year, his Alzheimer's symptoms intensified. I couldn't walk anymore. It was so hard for me to walk. I was vomiting really bad. I, I had diarrhea and this was all at the same time. So there's an inflammatory relationship between these two disorders, which is what these new discoveries have pointed out. Dr. Huntington Potter is a professor of neurology at CU Anschutz. He says new research shows a connection between COVID and Alzheimer's disease. Where the same molecules are increased in both. Uh, I am worried that there may be a trigger for later Alzheimer's disease due to COVID. His team is working on a new prevention drug, but it's still years away from FDA approval to treat Alzheimer's disease or potentially Alzheimer's COVID brain. patients. Get vaccinated. It may save you from COVID, should, and it may reduce your risk of long-term COVID, brain fog, and, and maybe even reduce your risk of Alzheimer's. Tony considers himself lucky to have survived coronavirus as a high-risk patient when a vaccine wasn't available. Now that one is, he hopes people don't play games. I would tell anyone that doesn't want to take the vaccination to at least do it for your family, for your children, for your wife. At least do it for them. If you don't want to do it for yourself, do it for them. John Glasgow, 9 News.